everybody got kind of a different video today um, right off the bat I guess uh, if you know you know and if you don't know here's the lowdown so there's uh, another quite a bit bigger channel than uh, what I got here uh, from not too far away from me actually uh, they do what they call the trucks with cups national championship where they came up with this game it's basically uh, follow the leader kind of a game with the crawlers they've got fancier cups this was the only thing I could come up with at the moment but basically just tape you a little cup on the roof of your truck fill it full of Cheerios and play follow the leader up the hardest lines you can find and whoever loses their Cheerios first loses uh, it looks like a good bit of fun and uh, potentially if things work out I get the opportunity to uh, go over and participate so I've never actually run Cheerios in a cup on top of my truck before so I figured uh, may as well go ahead and give her a little practice run and see how I do I'm on the fence about what truck I want to take I'm leaning towards the Ecto here just because I know it very well I know what it can do and I know how smooth it is um, thought about taking the Gapro but anybody who's seen my videos knows that that is not the most uh, video friendly truck or audio friendly truck I suppose uh, that outrunner motor screams so I don't know how much they would appreciate that loud thing in one of their videos but nevertheless we're just out here today to uh, see if I can run the hardest lines that I got here in the pit without losing my Cheerios. This has nothing to do with the gauntlet prep that I've been doing for the last week or so, but uh, I feel like I need to at least give this a shot because I could potentially be getting called up to go over there here at any point in the next couple weeks. So we'll give this thing a whirl and see how it goes. So for those of you who haven't seen the Trucks with Cups videos, I'll give you a warning right off the bat. First couple climbs you come to, you're going to lose a little bit of your Cheerios. Um, just getting that first couple vertical climbs out of the way kind of takes the top layer off of your cup but once you get down to the, the bottom of the barrel there when things start to get real interesting um, I think they've been doing it for a couple years now and uh, not gonna lie I talked a little bit of smack about wanting to come over there and give them a go with the Ecto here. It looks like a good time, and they've got an awesome looking course. I've been wanting to run that thing for a while. So hopefully my name will get drawn here at some point, and uh, we'll get a chance to go over there and see what we can do. Uh... I don't remember if I had mentioned it at the beginning, but uh, their channel is called Hello RC. So, like I said, if you haven't checked them out, I highly recommend uh, looking them up and watching some of their videos. They've got some really good content. But it'll be... Uh, It'll be an interesting time going over there because i practicing on my home course. I mean, I know 
at least the majority of the lines to take and what my truck can handle and uh, going to a new a new place running a new course and new lines that I've never run before uh, I'll definitely be at a little bit of a disadvantage there for sure but it seems like uh, one of the things that will get you in trouble real quick with the cheerio thing is uh, hopping and bouncing. You can lose a lot of cheerios just with either getting onto an obstacle or coming off of an obstacle. Just one little bounce the wrong way and it can upset your whole load. So I think the key is going to be Stay smooth as possible. Smooth and slow. There's definitely a, a different feeling rolling around with uh, Cheerios on top of your truck. Try not to spill them. And as smooth as you uh, try to crawl on any given day. You really try to be extra careful when you got that thing on your lid. So I think the only thing really I need to do here is give Hardline a shot. The whole thing. Um, I haven't run this line with the Ecto in quite a while. And I know the landscape has changed out here, so not exactly sure how this is going to go but this was basically this truck line for the longest time it was the only one that could ever make this so let's see if it's still got it i know the uh the rims that are on it now and the hexes that are on it now are a good bit wider than what it always used to run. So the line that it takes might actually be a little bit different than what it used to take. This used to be really narrow. And that bouncing right there, and you can see I've lost quite a few, but that, that bouncing every time you come up to an obstacle, you just lose a few Cheerios every time, boy. You're doing nothing real quick. I'm having some real issues here. There used to be a few more rocks in front of this thing. With all the rain and cows and the groundhogs. Like I said, the landscape has changed a lot out here since I've been out last. And sorry about the noise in the background, the neighbor's mowing his yard. Ooh. I really don't want to have to refill on Cheerios this soon. down there at the bottom just a little bit see that right there is what's going to get me in trouble this thing is a hopping machine when it gets all bound up like that
we need to back up and try this again. Mosquitoes really aren't helping. Keep swarming my face. There we go. of this thing's normal line usually I try to hug that log but since I had to come over so far that piece of wood up under there has got me hooked pretty good so I might have to try to come around it and then swoop back over to the down tree because I got to be in a real specific spot to get up on this asphalt right here trouble as I had with the bottom section there I'll be real surprised if it uh, makes it up the top section a hard line without losing my Cheerios here I usually don't have this many issues with this thing but like I said it's been a while try to get back over where I belong here. I've gotten way out of my normal groove. Take me a minute to get the hang of this thing again. I might end up having to throw the old wheels and tires back on it that I used to run because I'm trying to stay on the lines that it, it used to really like up here, but that extra, I don't know, 15 millimeters of uh, wheel base really changed things up. Now this section here, just the three vehicle lengths right here on this concrete. This is the hardest section in the whole pit. And it's uh, very vertical. I know it don't look like much on camera, but this is a rough spot. I'm way out of the groove here. We'll get dangerous with it and stand over here try to get a better angle for the camera let's see get you zoomed out a little bit here That right there is the hardest spot to get. Just nailed it. And I will say that uh, from experience, coming back down it is uh, easier and harder at the same time. 
it's easier because you don't got to fight for traction and hit the right line but it's harder because most of the rigs are more front heavy and uh, going end over end once you get down here to this bottom section is uh, really easy to do good drag brake and some good steering input and less mosquitoes would be nice there we go and I kept my Cheerios try to one shot this whole thing without cutting in between obstacles just uh, so there's no tomfoolery here not putting Cheerios back in it or anything now this section here has gotten completely changed from what it was when I set it up I think there's only one or two rocks that are still in the same spot that I put them originally so you could get a line figured out on this one one day and it'll be completely different two days later just from mother nature and the cows like this is a giant hole here where you've got to have a portal rig or spend the time digging around to try to figure out how to get up it. So we'll just go around that little spot just because it's, it's just set up funny. It's not really anything super technical on an incline like the rest of this. Usually, if you can make that transition and get up on top of that root, it's good. But this is way different than there it is. Way different than what it used to be. There we go. So, like these, these roots here. The dirt used to be pretty well level up to them and it's so washed out now. I don't think I could actually go up those roots anymore like I used to. Hey. I'll be glad here for too long when all the bugs start dying. It's been one of the reasons why I haven't been up here in the pit so much lately, the mosquitoes are just ridiculous up here. I don't even think I can get over this piece of concrete now. It is completely washed out. Well, I think when I first made this here, I had dirt up to this line right here. And it was a stretch for the Ecto to get up it then, just because the breakover angle is so intense. Yeah. Gonna have to slide my way around it here. Man. I am getting eaten alive out here, so I'm sorry for the camera getting moved all around like crazy. These things are tearing me up. Get the rest of this run over with so I can get out of here. He done got sidetracked with the mosquitoes and now I'm all hemmed up. Oh, little 
mistakes like that cost you Cheerios. Get back on course here. Sounds like those uh, last couple trips down to the creek really did a number on my bearings. This thing what used to be really quiet. can run up the tree and get crossed up without losing anything. I think I'm down under half of my cup here, so... Not doing great, but not doing as bad as I thought I would for my first run. I've got to imagine that if I tried this for the first time with anything other than this Hecto here, I probably wouldn't have any Cheerios left at this point. This is a tricky little cross up here. You've got to have everything just right. Otherwise, you come off the side of that tree there. And this is one of those things where the camera does absolutely no justice, but in person, this is pretty, pretty serious little transition here. But Ecto clears it, no problem. If I ever have a Cheerio challenge here at my place, this would definitely be one of the good spots to bring somebody through. Coming down this slide, it's not super technical, but it can be rough as hell if you're not real careful. You get your tire stuck in the wrong spot or come over a, a bump too quick, you lose your whole load. Every time I keep stopping and the camera shakes, I'm just swatting mosquitoes and scratching. I can't even begin to try to convey how bad they are around here. Oh, I didn't lose any on that one. That's kind of surprising. I bet if I had more Cheerios in my cup, I'd have lost some coming down that Peter Potter there. Okay, brief pause. cannot believe as cool as it's been at nights and everything around here how many mosquitoes are still out and about Whew. chicken pox tomorrow I got getting bit so much up here which 
screwing up my driving. Oh my God, leave me alone. pests around here really screwing up everything cows tore this thing up wasn't very nice of them they screwed up my mount evans sign just tearing everything up up in a spider web there. couple obstacles here now. I think I'm doing decent for my first go. I guess it also helps that I'm not taking somebody else's line either. going about this was this is uh if i was doing the challenge here with somebody at my place this is pretty much the lines that i would be taking as I could for this section here. So this particular line, I've only made it with two trucks. Uh, and that would be the Ecto and the Gapra. It's, uh, there's not much to it. It's a pretty simple line. Basically, you're gonna come up this vertical piece here and then there's a giant hole I'm not sure how best to show this straight overhead so you come up this here and you got to transition onto that top piece but what happens is your passenger your uh, driver's side tires end up hanging over the giant hole of death there so you've got to have your weight balance just right when you try to make that transition to be able to float over that giant hole. And this one was always a challenge just in general. I can't imagine it's going to be uh, any easier trying to keep Cheerios in there while I'm doing it. Okay, so... See, let's see, see where I'm lined up at. Let me see how far that tire's got to float there. Yeah, I shouldn't have stopped part of the way through. But I had to try to explain what was going on there. 
try this again. Okay, I think I'm a little too far to the right, but oh, yep, I got too far off to the right, and now I'm I'm hung up on that uh, trailing arm. Do a little front burn, try to get back over. I just can't seem to get unstuck from that. sure how to go about this I really just want to set it down and try it again but I feel like that's not the way to go oh my god just got hit by three of them at one time getting somewhere here. Back in the same spot. Man. Okay. This is more so about just getting this line than it is about the Cheerios at this point. I'm done practicing for the Cheerios thing. I just want to get this line before I get out of the mosquito infested pit. There we go. It wasn't pretty, but I got her done. took a little bit longer than I was expecting, but got her done. I suppose I should probably just go ahead and find somewhere to dump these Cheerios just so I can show that uh, I didn't glue them down in there or anything. We'll come down here and we'll make a bad hop on this rock down here on the ground and see how much it takes to lose them all. get the hell out of here and uh, ah, spend the rest of the night itching mosquito bites apparently. But I'm happy with it. Uh, I 
I'm hoping I, like I said, hoping I get to uh, get my name drawn to go over there and compete with uh, Hello RC in their National Chucks with Cups Championship. We'll see how the Ecto does. See how I do. And uh, I'll definitely have a video on that as well. Uh, I'm sure they will too. So, anyways, thanks for tagging along. Uh, I hope I enjoyed. And like I said, if you haven't uh, checked out Hello RC, uh, go on over to their channel and uh, check them out. It's a good one to watch. Hope y'all have a good one. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.